Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, guys and girls on Ask Japanese. It's Kathy Cat and Duckies. Welcome to the Ducky. <laughs> Never mind. Today we're gonna go and talk about again about 100 yen shop items that you should and should not get. So watch out for those and let's check them out. Hajimario! Ta da! Look at them! Cute Hello Kitty band aids! In case you have an injury, Hello Kitty band aids there to help you! No. Um, well, I actually have those at home. And uh, let's be honest, they're cute as a decoration. And they're cute if you have like a tiny little thing, but you, if you actually injured yourself and you're actually bleeding, they might not be the right choice. First of all, there's no breathing space. Usually many of the band-aids have like a breathing space with little dots on, so the skin can breathe. There's none of that. And it's literally just like a bit of tape and a little bit of gauze in the middle, and that's it. And uh, even the gauze looks like it's made out of plastic, so I cannot, <laughs> not really recommend it for your safety. Also, it goes off really easily. That's, it doesn't even hurt, so... Um, yeah, I have I have similar ones just as decorations for like dressing up decora style and stuff, but I wouldn't use them on wounds. Anything that's medical, I wouldn't be getting from the hundred yen store. You just you know when it's medical, it's about your body and your body goes first, and you want to be safe. So spend a little bit more and take good care of yourself if you can, uh, and get yourself some proper band aids. Ta-da! Next one here are nail clippers. I think I have one of those. And I was always wondering why my nails would end up so bad. Yeah, I really can't recommend them. Same goes for, for scissors, same goes for knives, all these kind of things. Everything that has a blade. Also, they might get rusty very, very quickly as well. And if you really need one of those items in your life, um, maybe spend a little bit more and get one from a drugstore. And these ones here, they're supposed to help you like you know, file your na nails into shape, that doesn't do anything for me. Like, it, it, it damages the nail more than it helps. I'm not sure why they put it on there. Get yourself, like, a separate one. I mean, it does something, but I'm not sure if that's actually <laughs> gonna be good for my nail in the long run. It's like you're applying, you know, the stuff that you use for woodwork. We could use that on a branch. <laughs> it's a branch? One of the things you should maybe go and try, or you can try in the 100 yen store, are these ones. My eyes right now are getting hot. They're heating up to foot 400 degrees or no, 40 degrees for 20 minutes. Oh, I feel it already. These ones are like sleep masks that like they smell good. They, they heat up your eyes and they're supposed to relax you. And you can see my voice is dropping a low level here. Oh man, this is so relaxing. Um, they sell them sets of five in a normal drugstore, but if you just want to test them out or if you just need one, you know, when you're staying somewhere over or you're on a trip and you just want to relax a little bit, these ones are really good. Oh. <laughs> I had one of those last night and it helped me sleep. So yay. Oh, listen to my voice getting lower and lower as we speak. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, washing nets are a real cool thing that you can get in the 100 yen store and they have different designs, different sizes. We found a cat one. How adorable is this one? And this one is there to, you know, protect your vulnerable things. So it might be your, you know, lacy. There we go. Might be for <laughs> your lacy knickers or similar things like that so they don't uh, get damaged in the wash. Those ones are really convenient and uh, they have them in all kinds of like designs and patterns and sizes and I must say uh, I use them pretty much every time I do my wash because I have a lot of sensitive clothing as you might guess so it always has to get bagged or double bagged to survive the wash and protect the fabrics. Oh. And the director just said recently in Japan some people actually use their face mask when they wash their face masks and put them into a net before they wash them to keep them safe and from breaking. There's a lot of cloth face masks these days as well, so these ones also wander into these little washing nets. Laundry nets. Next one here is the Easy Sealer. Now, personally I haven't used this one yet, but I want to try this out with you guys because this is like always in the top of the things that they sell at the 100 yen store. It's called Easy Sealer and it's supposed to help you reseal your food. 
Let's try this. So, wow. Your potato chips would all get all horrible and bleh if you didn't close them up properly. So you can put little pins and stuff on top. But apparently this is the 100 yen store number one and you're supposed to be able to read seal. Let's do this. Okay, so what, we're gonna have this thing here and then put it here. Then we move it over. I'm not sure if I'm too fast or too slow. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Did that do anything at all? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! It sealed it! It's closed! It's reclosed! I can't. I did not expect that. Okay, that worked way better than I thought it would. actually really hard to open now. Ah, there we go. I can open it again from the sides. And there we go. You can see the line where the, the heat melted the, the bag so it could close it and reseal it. Ready to get snacked another day. It's kind of addictive now. This year in Japan, they finally changed a rule because you used to be getting so many plastic bags in every store that changed it now. They are charged for, which means that the season of the eco bags, as they call it, has now started. And this one here is the one specific eco bag that's pretty cool because usually shop assistants would pack your items into the plastic bags that you know, they provide it, which, are, which they are generally not allowed to do with normal eco bags, but this one here is different. This eco bag here is the, si the size and the shape of the shopping baskets. So what you do is you let the staff know uh, to the supermarket that you brought one of these, you set that into the basket in which they move the things over to when they do their calculations, and in the end you just pick it up and go. So uh, let me show you how that is done. We use this now to bring all of our shopping here. However, this one is not 100 yen. That was 300 yen at Daiso. But yeah, I'm really impressed how convenient that one is. It's so convenient. You don't even have to pack anymore. And it's a whole lot cheaper than buying stuff like that from Disneyland or the Disney store. Bathroom items. So some items might not be good for your skin, but some items are totally fine. So for example, we have one here. It's Kirby and it's actually okay from Bande and it changes your water into pink. How cute is that? And they have a lot of cute bathrooms. They even have some where you have like little dinosaurs toys inside afterwards for the kids. And then they're like some relaxing ones for the parents. So if you are on the go and you just want to have like a nice bath, maybe in your hotel or in your room at home, those ones are cute. And this one here, did an, uh, it's like an exfoliating glove. So let's use this. Whoosh. These ones are actually, I would say, more for when you go to an onsen. Uh, in the onsen, you feel very hot, you sweat a lot. And if you use this after you just got out of the onsen, it will really exfoliate your skin, like visibly, visibly. It's crazy, it's amazing. So if you have the right kind of material, it will literally, like, make your, ha your skin so much better. These ones are amazing if you go to an onsen, but you have to have heated your body up enough for this to do its magic effect. But yeah, those ones, it's interesting. It's kind of a bit gross, but you know, shower afterwards before you then keep going to the onsen, but exfoliating, I tell you guys, I tell you, it's good. And one of the absolutely amazing ones, if you live in Japan or if you just travel to Japan, I've been buying these ones ever since the first time I came to Japan at these ones, these vacuum bags here. Oh, there's two, okay. They come in different sizes. Some of them you don't need a vacuum for, some of them you can just do by hand. And uh, let's see, maybe we should do an example.
So you can tell even with this doing this by hand, it shrunk down quite a lot in size, maybe a quarter, maybe. And uh, if you actually have a vacuum, it makes it even more effective. And depending on the material, especially fluffy winter coats or towels, you can make them so small and compact for traveling. That's great. And what I also do with this, I do this for my summer winter clothes. So when I want to have them stored away and want to make sure they are like sealed up so nothing can get to them. And at the same time, I also take less space. I use these ones as well. They're like lifesavers and that for 100 yen they do sell these in travel stores and similar things like that but the 100 yen soap so guys and girls that was it from us japanese not from our studio but from our side room where people get changed or where the fridge is <laughs> because the studio was already booked by a different channel so we've been there uh, filming all of this in, in the side room and we tried to make do we tried to make do i hope it was it went okay i hope you enjoyed this video from our little storage room here and uh, leave us a like and there's also another video that we've done on Japan shop goods and loads of other things about here life in Japan. So if you're curious about that, don't forget to subscribe. It was lovely having you here and I'll catch you soon for another video on Ash Japanese. Thank you guys! Bye.